Good morning, Nuggets. It's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance. I hope you all are doing well. If you need to get in contact with me for a personal, the information will be down in the description box. That's what I'm doing. Um, we are coming up on airy season, so that means Pisces, you have a few more days to get your $10.30 minute reading. Because after that, we're going into Aries season, and then that will be Aries who will get the $10.30 minute reading, okay? So, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it. And the links to follow me on Facebook, IG, and Twitter are... Is it? That's why I don't like being on camera because I get distracted with myself. But anyway, we're going to do this. Okay, we're going to get into Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine energies for the week. Um, yeah, so channel song, y'all, and I'm, we've been having this for a minute, but um, it is, and there was only this one, it's Don't by uh, Bryson Tiller. So... Let's just go ahead and get on into it. Um, yeah. Masculine current energy. Ooh. All right. Well, apparently y'all doing the most. So we have the dragon, the unicorn, and the sea serpent. Okay. Uh, let me see if you guys can get that. Let me get out. Okay. So, the dragon is the solar plexus chakra. The unicorn is the third eye. And the sea serpent is the sacral. So, looks like masculine is on a mission, on a move. Um... very much in his creative um, uh, magician energy. Masculine's on, on, on a mission. He's trying to get some stuff going. And he's, the thing is, is he's he's feeling capable. That's what's up. The masculine energy is feeling capable. Let's see. Let's see, y'all. I'm liking that energy for Divine Masculine because it's, it's, it's been a minute. He's been around, in and around the, um, not just the sacral chakra. He's been really around the, the root and base chakra, getting himself rooted and grounded and I think he's done that I think masculine has done that and now he's he's in the energy of um, creating using that energy to create and uh, get some things going and establish for himself that's good that's good all right we'll get to So we have, yeah, um, where masculine was once in the energy of, um, being emotionally confused. He's coming out of that. This also for me is like the, um, eight of cups where, you know, you've done all you can do as far as emotionally and now. Um, coming out of that quickly and going um, going now this I know uh, to you all it looks like he's going backwards but um, I don't think that he's going back I think he is in the energy of releasing and leaving anything that um, does not uh oh Okay. 
I'm trying to make this an energy of him leaving, but it does not seem like that. It seems like he's, he's returning to a comfort zone, I'm getting. He's, there's, there's an energy that he's supposed to be leaving, that he's coming out of, but I think he is, um, in this capable energy because he has gotten some understanding of his emotions, so he's possibly going back to a place where he can heal something he feels like he has to go back and heal something yeah okay underneath that is the the back which is which talks about you know letting things go releasing so i think he's going it's it's a kind of like a going back to the future kind of thing He's going back to something to um, close it or release it or let it be. And this could be him within himself getting like, you know, he could possibly be doing some um, inner work or, you know, getting therapy or something where he's going back and going through um, things of his childhood and healing those things. So it's it's. Either way, I think he believes that he's doing this for his highest good because he he now has some understanding. This unicorn here, the third eye, his third eye is open. He's gotten some understanding, more seeing, and this is more seeing for me. Um, getting clear on his uh, on his path, understanding who he is and what he's. Um, created in his environment and within himself i think this is really um masculine taking responsibility and being accountable you know not really wanting to to do some stuff because this is you know leaving some leaving some energy behind but he's taking on this this energy because he feels that he has to right now okay closing some stuff out um, this, this eight of cups, or no, this octopus also speaks to me of, um, getting some third eye enlightenment. You see how the colors are up there? Um, closing his eyes to, um, his 3D, what's going on around him and connecting, um, to his higher self spiritually. Um, getting his emotions and his um, intuition grounded and under control. There's a lot going on with masculine, I, and this is this. I'm not feeling so much that um, that sacral energy of um, you know procreation or sex or lust. I'm feeling that energy. Um, more so creativity and um, I'm hearing binding I don't like that but hmm maybe this is what he's releasing he's releasing some um, some some energies that were spiritually bound to him um th through through the sacral ooh that's um those are spiritual ties that that speaks to um yeah oh gosh i'm hearing and i was watching this on uh on youtube one of the readers i can't remember, i think ascension something um where it speaks about spiritual tr spiritually transmitted diseases through through sex so I'm, I'm i'm hearing and i'm feeling i'm getting that that is being um 
healed. Okay. Okay. That sounds good. I like that. All right. Feminine. Divine feminine. Mm. Masculine is healing some stuff. He's seeing where he needs to heal some things. That makes sense. That makes sense. We're getting ready to go into spring. So, I think he's awakening. There's an awakening happening. Okay. Feminine. Divine Feminine. Current energies for Divine Feminine. Oh, okay. Y'all doing extra two. Y'all doing extra two. All right. Let's see. What is this? She of the crew app, which is divine feminine, being in her energy. Um, guardian at the gate. This is um, being on your path. Not everybody can go. Okay. And ecstasis, which is divine beingness, just energy and understanding. Um, divine around you this is a lot of I'm getting a lot of uh, divine feminists being in their in their divinity um, releasing the need to be on a path um, that's not hers but get actually getting on her path divine feminine is is um, in her energy, on her path, um, being fueled by divine, being fueled by God and, and being actually on her mission. I think that's what that is. So, you know, more so both, both energies doing what they have to do, doing what they need to do. I like it. It's cool. It's cool. Okay. Uh, feminine. Wait, I'll get the bottom card too. There. All right. So. All right. This is unconditional. Feminine understands that that some things you know just just are as they are, and um, learning to release the obligation. If it's too much, if it's tearing her down, look at her wings. If it's tearing her down, she understands that this is, you know, this thing's going to be here. But she also understands that her heart longs and calls for something else. There's something else driving her, pushing her, other than this connection. Okay? This is seeing the, the, the depth of things. Divine Feminine, you know, Dark Lady, has, she's, this is the underline, so she's come through some things and had to, to understand what this is. That's cool. That's cool. Because now she's, she's seeing how this, um, this connection was pushing her and pointing her in the right direction. It, it had to be done. This dark night of the soul, this um, going within had to be done. It's uh, another leg on the journey for Divine Feminine, but also pushing her into her, um, pushing her onto her path as masculine as being guided directed and pushed onto his that's cool um i am hearing th um th is this was a, a channel song from this morning um these three words by stevie wonder okay what are the blocks and the helps blocks and helps oh goodness we don't want extra there's so much extra Blocks and helps. 
Um, I'm going to turn these around because I can't. Oh, my squirrel is at my screen, Jesus. Hold on, y'all. Okay, Nuggets, sorry about that. Had to get the squirrels together. <laughs> um, but in that, that pause, there was, um, some energy to reflect on what this block and help is and um, when they came out they came out upside down but if this is the energy that's the block and the help whether it's uh, reversed or upright the message is um, having the strength to start over because in the reverse the block would be, you know, the block or help would be you're not having the strength to start over or needing to get the strength to start over. So either way, this is needing or having the strength to start over, to begin again, to move forward. Um, to go forward with everything you have quickly move make the move to start over to um, or not having the strength to start over or, or move forward or it's staying stuck and staying stagnant either way whether this be reversed or upright this is um, either needing to get over and overcome something to move over or it's starting over because neither of you are moving on. E, blocker help. Let's, let's, let's get, let's, okay. Upright upright underneath all right so what came out moving forward the six of swords the block or the help is um if you're blocking this if you're blocking this movement forward why and this is mentally moving on the swords represent your thoughts as well as action okay so in this, for me, this is, um, especially the feminine, but also the masculine energies, both. I need more hands. Having gone through this dark night of the soul, having to go within and look within the self to get rid of these fears this dark energy this dark shroud and to just proudly be yourself and move forward in your mind underneath ah the queen of wands knowing your your worth knowing what you are and what you have and your abilities on the inside of you and trusting in moving forward this is your help. The block part of this could be there is a, um, a feminine energy that does not want either of you to move on or they're, they are this dark energy. But either way, you're coming into the understanding of it no longer being an issue because you're mentally moving forward or gaining the strength to move forward. Um, Trusting, I'm also getting trusting your intuition with this, trusting your gifts, okay? Grounded and rooted in your gifts, knowing who you are feminine, trusting your, your guidance, your intuition, your wisdom with the snake here wrapped around the staff, knowing that you are safe or, again, 
the block could be a divine fit when they're well um a feminine energy not being in her divinity but um in this dark energy in this dark energy this was the underlying so she, this block could be um fire sign uh, aries leo sagittarius person who was not in their highest energy okay and um using her wiles to deter or be in the middle of this connection and doing so um with her physicality and cunning and wit and all of the things that come with the um the energy of not being um in your highest frequency in your highest self but actually being you, this person could have possibly been um a witch in the sense of the word with the b mm. just quite frankly i don't really like calling other females that were but it's she could have been in that energy but this could have also been divine feminine in that energy of not being healed and whole so that could have been a block, but I am taking this more so um, of an outside energy that was um, being a distraction and no longer holding that energy, but divine masculine moving forward. Okay, so block and help. Take it as it applies. You are more than welcome to get in contact with me for a personal, and we can get into your personal uh, twin flame energy. Okay? So, how Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine feel um, 5D connection? I'm sure that's, you know, goes without saying that we'll... justice but of course in this it's uh the number of the uh strength card but oh my gosh come on see that see that see it see it see it okay feminine energy justice balance karma being um balanced uh, reciprocity between the two of you there's the energy of um, karmic balance ooh that's nice so um, masculine feeling that he's you know he's gotten his his karma and divine feminine feeling that she's gotten hers there's balance here lady justice so however that applies for you hmm both of you feeling though that um justice has been or is being served let's see okay Um, card two okay so we have the nine of swords nine of swords but as you can see this is not that uh that overthinking anxiety nine of swords this is um the oh gosh i'm hearing um lenny kravitz i belong to you so, I'm getting a sense of surrender with this Nine of Swords, um, and not so much the anxiety of it. Hold on, what's the under? The underlying is another nine, and this is the Nine of Wands, which is 
you know, these are very, very heavy energies in the traditional tarot. But here, this is both masculine and feminine together. So maybe this is something that you both have been worried about coming together or um, recognizing the end and the um, what's been served is justice between the two of you it's it's a um, it feels like a recognition of what was or what could have been but also understanding that um, understanding that life goes on oh my gosh okay all right because this is you this is long hard fought um i'm hearing again i'm hearing karmic justice hmm this is the way both masculine and feminine are feeling towards one of another all right that's interesting that's very very interesting okay what's going on in your surroundings divine masculine divine feminine what is going on around you now this could be a this could be anything so let's see let's see okay masculine energy of course but this speaks to um, authority and doing what is right uh, goodness I wish y'all could see this okay I hope y'all can see that that is um, masculine energy um, taking his place understanding you know regardless of what the energy is this is you know doing what needs to be done so um in your surroundings this is um again just just doing what needs to be done this is being responsible being accountable there's little to no emotion here it is just okay well um having all of the information and acting according to what the right thing to do is so um in in the environment around the two of you masculine is very much in his uh in his energy and in his authority and um, moving according to what is right at this particular time this is and this could be you know a female or feminine energy um, understanding that what has to be done is the right thing all right wow um, yeah sugar fire let's see yeah okay these two and underline whoo all right so <laughs> why not masculine energy which is uh Represented by fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but six of, or sorry, seven of cups. This is um, being in your. It's kind of like that, like a, a a Voltron turned on spiritually, being in your in your energy and your divinity and and. Um, directing taking action but having a lot of choices uh, um, 
coming into the energy of, of um, there's so much going on, but directing that. I'm seeing um, um, Doctor Strange with his his two ring the the ring on his finger and he's doing this and he's directing the energy um knowing your power but also being a, a able to um have a lot going on energetically spiritually um emotionally at one time but directing it, doing what's supposed to be done with this, this energy, and doing right by it, what's underneath? Underneath is the Four of Swords, which is, um, to me, feels like um, settling in to what is. So you've, you've been in this energy of meditating, learning, collecting, relaxing, stepping back, but also um, directing. You, this, this is something This, I'm, I'm hearing this is it. This is it. There's, there's no more confusion. There is no more confusion. It's a lot of Aries energy here. So um, um, we start Aries season in a few days. So th there's a lot of um, fire, masculine energy here. But it is... Um, Governing, governing passion and emotion. This is a lot of passion. This is a lot of feeling, a lot of emotion. But this is coming out of understanding that something oh, in in the in the atmosphere and in the energy is allowing something to be. Um, That's, that's that's how this came out okay the temptation which is the, the the devil card and there's that root chakra so things are getting grounded in the earthly realm as far as um, your 3d and it's something that was you know you were Kind of your 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 something's going to be shaken up, and there's healing coming. This this root chakra, um, passionate, compassionate, fiery attraction energy is going to it's going to ground itself, and it's going to be able to um, surprisingly reshape your foundation what you built something on and it's no longer going to be this energy of um, this energy of a bad disruption you see how it 
I hope this is going the right way. I don't think it is, but to me, it is um, the energy going from this heavy, worldly, dark, heavy stuff into, okay, I am understanding and grounding this 3D energy right now for my highest good, doing what I need to do, what I need to take care of. This is individually and together so that things can change or divine can bring some change. This is divine intervention and hope is the, the, um, it's the star card. I'm having really, really heavy palpitations in my heart chakra. This is a, this is something that's not going to be seen. It's, this is something, this is divine intervention. That's what I'm hearing. It's divine intervention. Divine intervention. Okay. So, as you are on your journey, on your path, getting things solid and grounded and working on that, uh, that root chakra, uh, masculine has, has gotten past the, the heaviness of it. This, the heaviness of, of grounding. Okay. I think it's supposed to go this way. Like I said, I don't remember. Um, but no longer being, he's, he's, the energy, divine energy stepping in is no longer being of it, of this harsh, grounded, it's got to look like this. It's got to be like this. It's got to feel like this energy, this obsessive, obs obsessive energy with what things look like on the outside to being um, in it, it, of being, he, he's in it, but he doesn't necessarily have to be of it. He can take this energy, not just masculine. Um, feminine as well taking this energy of being in the world but not being of the world and this this epiphany shaking shit up and being able to heal and be in it that or, yes I think I'm saying that right I hope I'm conveying that right because it's, it's really it's groundbreaking and shifting if you see, if you can see this, oh dear, okay, we have 15, okay, card number 15, card number 16, and then card number 17. This is, The energy around you, the earthly energy around you is shifting and no longer having this grasp or this hold on you. You see that? That's the energy of the world. And this man, this being, this person reaching out to the light for help. And this energy is... Um, the tower, things that are built on fallacy are being torn down, okay? It's being torn down. 17, which is the star, which is healing and rejuvenation. Do you guys, I hope you guys can hear the um, the rushing water in the uh, meditation that we're listening to. This is things being healed and changed. So we have 15, which is 6, which is the lovers. S uh, 16, which is 7, which is the, the chariot card moving forward. And 17, healing, which is 8, which is the strength to do so. 
Good God Almighty, that's magnificent. I like it. It was getting hard there for a minute. Y'all was like, wait a minute, what's happening? But that is what, that's what we've, we're all doing and working on um, collectively within. You see this, this temptation, this, um, the devil card. Do you see how there's a heart? Love is the key. Love is the key. No longer being um, your heart being um, boxed in or closed in because your heart is the key. Being in divine hands, I, I hope you guys can see. I don't think you can. There, there is an actual being or person. Uh, ah, you can see. Hold on. You see, there is a person in the middle of that light. I'm hearing, he's got the whole world in his hands. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm sorry this is so long, y'all, but woo, we had to get there, didn't we? This this struggle of being in two minds this being and looking one way on the outside but on the inside you're just completely in this mind screw I didn't say the F word I was a big girl but now no longer being of two minds no longer being mentally conflicted what's underneath emotional withdrawal okay so that this can happen withdrawing your energy withdrawing your your thinking and going within so that these steps can be taken I think it's the right way for you guys. I can't remember. But so so that the epiphany comes in, the the surprise, the comes in and shakes your foundation, creates a tower, so that healing. So there's no more of this. Okay. All right. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, again, again, the action to take, to shake that shit up, come out of the dark, allow things to change and shift and be awakened. Hmm? Allow things to change and shift and be awakened. Let's see. So, ha. The death card is um, number. Mm, it's number thirteen, which reduces to a four, and it gives us there's a shift and a change in the masculine energy and awakening within and collectively. This is this. It starts at home first. It starts in the self first. But then it is um, expanded out collectively, and sh I mean, like seriously, shaking some some, some steps up, um, epiphanies and awakenings and understandings of yeah, good goodness, truth, cutting through the foolishness, whatever needs to be cut off, whatever needs to be left behind is being left behind underneath so that you can have your reunion this is reunion this is coming back together and um sharing with one another um feelings and emotions and joy okay i'm hearing joy the truth about what is joy 
where joy comes from, what your joy is. Where did I go? Where did that other card go? Releasing. That's the su surprise. Divine surprise. God stepping in and saying, look, darn it. Get your together. I'm, I don't know about y'all, but God talks to me like that. He tells me, um, can you get your shit together? All right, last thing. What does, what, we'll, we'll, we'll use the music oracle deck. What song or message of communication would Divine Masculine like to give to Divine Feminine? That's what we want to know. What is the message for Divine Feminine from her Divine Masculine? Okay, there's a few of them. We'll take those. All right. Dang it. All right. We have Everything I Do, I Do For You by Brian Adams. I'm not going to show y'all those because you can't see them on the screen. Um, Let's Try It Again by New Kids on the Block. The Beautiful Ones by The Purple One Prince. And underneath Divine Masculine's message is All the Man I Need by Whitney Houston. So um, I think... I think that says that um, he now understands his place. He now understands that um, Divine Feminine was not looking for the worldly trappings. But it's on him for his growth and stability within himself. And then all of you know the healing and wonderfulness and all that joy and stuff is within him it starts within us first and then goes out to the other so i think that's what he's trying to say is you know we're going to do this again because i've everything that i've done or been through or gone through has been for our connection and he wants to try it again because he sees the beauty in the both of you. I like it. All right, Nuggets. That is our um, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine reading for the week. I hope that some way helped. And uh, if you need a book of personal to get your own personal um, uh, Twin Flame reading, just let me know. That information is down there for you. I thank you for joining me. I love you. I love you from my soul. And I send you all blessings and light. Take care.